It's Friday, September 2nd, and here's what's shaking at the Almond Alliance. I'm Aubrey Betancourt, President and CEO of the Almond Alliance, the voice of the almond community in Sacramento, Washington, and beyond. It has been a busy couple of weeks. We have slid in to the end of session in the California State Legislature with a slew of bills changing and gutting and amending and flipping and flopping and getting exchanged in the backroom calculus and all that stuff happening. And it finally ended. And now we're looking uh, towards uh, and still working with our partners. The work continues. Just because the legislative session is over doesn't mean that we're not done. So we are working through a number of those bills. We want to see some of them signed. We want to see some of them vetoed. And we are actively working with the governor's office and partners and coalition members on that. But in addition to that, we're already turning into looking at next year's budget at the state level. And we're starting to identify those priorities, really working to get resources on the ground in the places that we know you need, that are our priorities, your priorities, reliable supply chain, resilience, shipping, movement of product, goods and services, having the infrastructure in place, the policies in place that allow us to do that easier, uh, more efficiently, more effectively and a reliable water supply. That includes infrastructure dollars, that includes dollars on the ground, that includes policies and plans in place for what to do when it starts raining again so that we can recover and uh, utilize our system and modernize our system both in policy and in physical infrastructure. Similarly, we've been working now shifting to the, to the federal side. In addition to that, we've had amazing meetings with Senator Joni Ernst talking about supply chain as well as water supply and her key positions on the Agricultural Committee uh, as, as well as in security. Uh, we look forward to follow up work with her office. It was great having her in California. Wonderful sitting down with her and a number of members uh, from our almond community and across our agricultural community as well. A great partner and friend of, of California agriculture all the way from Iowa. Uh, and uh, so that was, a, that was a great meeting. We also have been doing farm bill listening sessions. We've got our farm bill priorities. We hope to be sending out a briefing to you on that as well and getting your feedback on that. We wanna make sure that we're in alignment with what you need as our members too. Uh, really pushing in that space around the conservation chapter, around market access, around research and development, and a couple of other items we wanna sneak in there and work on. We think that farm bill could be modernized for our Western Ag in a lot of ways. We had a great meeting with our uh, USDA Undersecretary Bonnie, who was out visiting in California. He spent some time with almonds, spent some time with some other commodities. We had a great meeting with he, as well as the state leaders of Farm Service Agency, and RCS and RMA. Uh, really productive conversation and really outlining what we need uh, and how they as federal partners can be supporting us, especially on key issues like water, Sigma compliance and the future of California agriculture. What are the resources and the programs that they need to modernize, that they need to deploy in order to continue to support American agriculture uh, here in California uh, and across the West in a lot of ways. Uh, we've had some great internal meetings as well. We've been meeting with our Tiger team. We had a handler's roundtable yesterday talking about shipping. Uh, we're moving forward with a couple of new uh, options on the shipping side. There's going to be another industry alert coming out for you uh, that gives you a really great breakdown of some new contacts. We're operating with a new uh, white glove service out of Oakland that should increase its uh, reliability there. We know there's been a lot of uh, uh, fits and starts, but we are moving. That train does move. Uh, every week from Oakland down to LA and Long Beach and we're going to ramp up that Fowler ramp as well as we continue to partner with CMA, CGM and SEBA on this white glove service to hopefully streamline a lot of uh, your booking processes and make that easier. So if you're not a member and you want to get access to this information, please reach out to us directly. If you are a member, you're going to receive that information in your industry alerts and if you ever need help, if you ever need resources, please reach out to us. Similarly, we're happy to say we're partnering with our friends at CVAG and hope soon to be offering additional services out of the Oakdale location. So we're continuing to look for and work and support solutions for all of agriculture, our friends in walnuts, our friends in cotton, pistachios, fresh fruit, uh, and across the board. And we can't thank them enough for their support of us too. Uh, it's a, it's two point, you know, 1.5 percent of the population feeds the rest. That's pretty amazing. And it's our privilege to continue to support you all and uh, and to represent you all. In, uh, in, in all of the fields that matter the most to you. So last but not least, and because my team will beat me with a stick if I don't mention it, we have two great events coming up this, uh, both in September and October. We're having an open house at our new office in Turlock on September 22nd. I'm calling it the Harvest Happy Hour. Who doesn't need a drink these days? Come on down, meet the other members, spend some time with the staff and the team. We're really looking forward to an opportunity to give you guys just a, a drink and a welcome and to say thank you for all that you do and, uh, and to also give you guys maybe just an afternoon or an evening 
uh, to, to take a deep breath during a busy and, tr and tough time. Uh, and finally, we are having our annual PAC uh, fundraiser in October on the 27th, where we'll also be announcing uh, the Almond Champion of the Year. Uh, and that is a great opportunity to continue to support the political action of the work that we do here at the Almond Alliance, um, who also meet regularly. Committees made up of members out there, you all watching, uh, helping us really play the political calculus that continues to make sure that the Almond community has a voice in a position of influence uh, because we know we're credible and legitimate, so it's just about being in position. So thank you all again. We hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, and we hope to see you on September 22nd. Harvest Happy Hour, and see you also on October 27th for the Almond Champion of the Year Award. Take care, and we'll see you next time.